everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a recipe video. I posted a picture of my lunch over on Instagram a couple days ago and a lot of you guys said you want to see this recipe so I thought I'd make it for you guys. So we're going to be making these healthy alternative noodles. I say healthy alternative because they aren't the healthiest noodles in all of the land but they are a much healthier alternative. They're much more easier to make. You can find all of this stuff in any regular supermarket, all that good stuff. So what actually inspired this video is these noodles that I found in my local supermarket, Tesco's. So they're just these blue dragon whole wheat noodles which makes them more wholesome and healthier for you. Whole wheat is always a healthier option. They don't have any artificial colors or flavorings. They're suitable for vegetarians and vegans. This little packet only cost me one pound. Um, but basically the awesome thing is that you get six little nests in this packet. So essentially you're getting six meals for one pound which is amazing. So if you do have a Tesco's near you, make sure you pop out and go and find the Blue Dragon whole wheat noodles. Otherwise, if you don't really know where to get these, you can get any whole wheat noodles that work for you. Great. So I'm just gonna be showing you how to make this. This recipe is great if you just wanna whip up something real fast and you don't have much time because it's super quick. It's cost effective, it does not cost you much, and it's easy to make. It's not confusing. Really ideal for students like, when I go to university next year, I know I'm going to be making this because it's super simple. So let's see how I made it now. So what you want to start off doing is putting some water in a pot to boil and just leave that to boil until it reaches boiling point, really simple. And while that is boiling, you want to start off by chopping your vegetables. I'm just going to be using a red pepper and I'm dicing that up and then I'm going to be using a cabbage and I'm just cutting that thinly and then I'm going to be using some carrot and I'm going to be peeling that. I've already peeled the skin off and now I'm just peeling the actual carrot. It's better than dicing it or cutting it in circles because it just goes with the noodles a lot better. So once you're done with that, what you want to do is put your noodles in the boiling water and leave that to boil while you deal with your stir fry. Now I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil but I do recommend you use something like coconut oil if you can get your hands on that but we ran out of our coconut oil so I'm gonna be using extra virgin oil today but it's fine it's it's good fats it's good fat so you just want to use a little bit so if you put too much make sure you take it out and then you put your veggies in and start frying them up so I'm just gonna be adding a couple of flavors that I personally like like some light soy sauce some vinegar um, sesame seeds and all that good stuff. I'm also adding some peanuts in there just to add a little bit of a crunch to my noodles really because it's such a soft dish if that makes sense that just adding the peanuts just adds a nice crunch to it and it's not too crunchy because when you actually put them in with the stir fry they do tend to soften up a little bit. Once you're done with all of that what you want to do is add in your noodles and you can rinse your noodles out first but I'm a really lazy person so I've just put them in the pan plus I'm really messy if you haven't already noticed that food is all over the stove adding in a couple last minute spices to get that going and we're pretty much done that's pretty much it okay so that was just how to make the noodles it was super simple as you guys saw super easy and just super yummy. It's it's super everything. And it's just a healthier alternative. I'm not trying to say it's the healthiest, so I don't want anybody coming in here and being like, that's not healthy, blah, blah, blah. Because this is a lot healthier than having like spaghetti bolognese, I'll tell you that much. Honey, I'm sassy. There is so much you can do with this recipe. You can go nuts. You can add in some chicken breast in there to make it real yummy. You can add some turkey. You can add some like um, prawn. Oh, that, that would be yum. So yeah, that's that recipe. Do comment below if you do try out this recipe and if you actually make it, do you take a picture of it and tag me in it on Instagram so I can see what you guys do with this recipe and how crazy you go. Cause I know you guys are creative. Mm. Tastes so good, I wanna eat it all right now. Mm. So yeah, this is a yummy lunch to have if you're at home and you have time to make it because I know if I'm going to college I can't make this but if I, like today, I only had one lesson in the morning and then I got to come home and I get to make my lunch at home, then I get to make yummy things. 
Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and make any more requests you have for videos down below. Stay healthy and I shall see you later. Bye!